Welcome back, coders. I'm Kehlani, and I'm your host for Code Along with Black Girls Code. I hope you're ready to jump into another amazing project today. We're going to make a super special e-card for my favorite person in the world. Any guesses who it is? Come on, code along with me, and you can make a card for your favorite person, too. Before we get started, make sure to like this video and subscribe so you never miss an episode. Let's start off by going to scratch.mit.edu. If you're super new to Scratch or just looking for a little refresher, you should definitely check out this video from season one of Code Along. I go over all the important Scratch basics. Check it out. Now I'm going to create a new project. You can do this by clicking on File, then New. Let's get started making our card. I had the perfect idea for mine. Wanna hear? Well, my mom's birthday is coming up, and since she's the absolute best, I wanted to make her this e-card to show her how much I love her and how good I am at coding. First, I'm going to create the cover of the birthday card. I think I want it to be two pages, like how you open up a paper card. On the inside of the card, I'm going to add a picture of my mom and I to celebrate how super she is. I'll match the colors of that image on the cover of the card. Let's start off by deleting the cat sprite. Next, go to the bottom right side of the screen and click on the backdrop button. Let's select a fun backdrop for the front of our card. On the backdrop page, you'll see tons of options to choose from. I'm going to choose the party backdrop because nothing says birthday like a room full of balloons, right? Click on the backdrop tab on the upper left hand corner. Next, delete the white backdrop, then rename the party backdrop to cover. I'm going to change the colors of the balloon in the cover image to red, blue, yellow, and gray so that they match the colors in the photo of my mom and I. First, I'll ungroup each balloon so I can edit them individually. Then, I'll use the fill and gradient tools to update their colors. We should add a message to the front cover. In the Backdrops tab, select the text button and click where you want your message to be on the backdrop. Type the message you'd like on the cover of your card. I'm also going to add a rectangle to make the text pop and change the color to red. I'll also adjust the size, positioning, and color of my message. Then change the font to handwriting. So cute! Now that I have my awesome cover, I want to add a way for my mom to open the card. What if there's something she clicks to open it? Let's look at our options. Click on the cat icon on the bottom right of the screen to choose a sprite. I'm going to go to the food tab and select heart candy. Place the sprite on the bottom right hand corner and resize it to 50. Click on the sprite, then go to the Costumes tab. I want to split the words open here between two costumes, so I'll delete costume three and four. Now, select the first costume. I'm going to select the text in the middle, then change it to open. I'm also going to change the font to marker. Next, click on the second costume and change the text to here. I'll also update the colors of each costume to match the cover image. What if we make the text flash back and forth to say, open here, so that my mom knows where to click to open the card? Let's code it. Go to the Events tab and drag over the When Green Flag Clicked block to the coding area. I want the Open Here sign to loop forever, so I'm going to click on the Control tab and drag the Forever block under the When Green Flag Clicked block. I want the word Open to blink for half a second, then switch to Here, so I'm going to drag the Wait One Second block inside of the Forever block. Next, go to the Looks tab Drag the next costume block below the wait block. When we click on the open here button, I want a few things to happen.
first, I want the sprite to disappear. Then I want the card to open, aka switch to the next backdrop. Then I want to have twinkling stars appear around my message. Let's code it. Drag over the following code. When the sprite clicked, I want to hide the sprite, then broadcast a message to my stars. Click New Message in the Broadcast block and call it Twinkle Stars. Next, I want to switch backdrop to Next Backdrop. I think we should add some music to really make this card special. Drag a Play Sound Pop Until Done block underneath the Switch Backdrop block. To change the sound, click on the Sounds tab and hover over the Sounds icon. You can choose a sound from a list of pre-recorded sounds, record your own sound, or be surprised from a random selection of pre-recorded sounds. Let's try Dance Magic from the Loops tab. Let's go back to the coding area. Make sure to change pop to dance magic. Well, now that we have the code to go from the cover to inside the card, we need to actually make the inside of the card. We have a couple options. We can choose another backdrop from the list, create our own, or upload a backdrop. Let's upload our own as the image of the inside of the card. You can choose a personal image from your computer or find one on the internet. Hover over Choose a Backdrop and click Upload Backdrop. Next, choose your folder and image. And rename the backdrop to Inside. Then, go to your backdrops and click on Convert to Vector. Convert to Vector allows you to change the size of the image as well as create and edit shapes. A vector image is like a drawing made with math. It can be made bigger or smaller without getting blurry because it uses lines and shapes instead of tiny dots like a normal picture. Now it's time to add your message for your favorite person. I'm going to change it to, Happy Birthday Mom, you're a superstar. I'm going to change the color and font to match my photo and stars. Next, I want to add the stars around the text. Click the sprite icon on the bottom right side and then search for star. I want the star to twinkle in the sky, but what does that mean in code? Hmm. It means I want to hide and show the star on a loop to look like a star twinkling and shining in the night sky. Drag the When I Receive Twinkle Stars block into the coding area with a Set Color Effect 2 block. Change the value from 0 to 2. Drag a forever block under the set block. I want to show the star, then wait for one second, then hide the star. This will give us the shine effect. You can resize each star and move them to where they look best on your backdrop. Since the stars are running on a forever loop, we need a way to reset the card. Drag a When Green Flag Clicked block to the coding area and a Hide block from the Looks tab. Then select the Open Card button and change the Switch Backdrop block to Inside. Then add a Show block to the starting blocks of the button. Now add a Switch Backdrop 2 block above the Show block and change its value to Cover. Now that you have one sparkling star, you can make duplicates of them, resize and change their individual color. Let's really make this card shine. Once you have as many stars as you want, Test out your brand new birthday card. We did it! 
Congrats, it worked! I think my mom will really love this. Today, we learned how to use events blocks to start our project and communicate when to add our stars animation. The control blocks help us switch between the cover of the card and the inside. And the look blocks change the background to reveal me and my mom. The last step is to save our work. Let's give our project a title, then click Save Now in the top right hand corner. Or if it's not there, go to File and select Save Now. Once we've saved and shared our project, let's view the project page to add the instructions, notes, and credit sections. Want to get hands on with today's code? Click the link below and start remixing. Thanks for coding with me today, coders. I'll see you next time. Bye.